My name is John Eater, Director of Product Management for Leviton's Rhinohide 49 Series Single Pole High Amperage Connectors and Panel Receptacles. In this tutorial, we're going to show the proper assembly of the Rhinohide connectors. A complete connector consists of a male or female contact, male or female sleeve, clamp, and protective cap. To assemble these connectors, you will need the following tools. Slotted blade screwdriver or 5 16 inch hex drive, crimping press, cable stripper, and optional would be Leviton spray loop and a heat gun if you're using a heat shrink tubing. If you are replacing an existing connector, ensure the cable is not connected to the power source. Leviton's Rhinohide male or female contacts are sized to match a specific cable size. These cable sizes are 313 MCM, 444 MCM, 535 MCM, 646 MCM, and 777 MCM. The assembly procedure is the same for both male and female connectors. In this example, we will be assembling a male connector. First, you'll need to prepare the cable end. Strip approximately 1 and 7 8 inches of the outer jacket from the cable end. Insert the bare cable end into the crimp tube end. If you're assembling a female connector, be aware that the crimp tube end of the contact is the side where the alignment pin is above spring retainer ring locks. The crimp press. Crimp the contact onto the cable end. You will need to crimp in two places. Your first crimp will be on the end of the crimp tube. The second should be in the middle. If desired, slide a length of heat shrink tubing over the contact cable end. Next, place the lanyard for the protective cover over the back end of the insulator sleeve. Slide the clamp over the back end of the insulator sleeve. Before inserting the contact into the insulator sleeve, you may want to use Leviton spray loop to make assembly easier. Align the two alignment pins on contact with alignment arrows on insulator sleeve. Then push contact straight into sleeve until retainer ring locks into metal ring inside of insulator sleeve. Look at the front end of the insulator sleeve to verify the face of the contact is aligned with the groove or insertion ring. Tighten the clamp so that the insulator sleeve firmly grasps the cable. Note, the clamp is only intended to prevent debris from entering into the back of the connector. It is not intended to be used as a strain relief. If using heat shrink tubing, slide it over the end of the insulator sleeve and use a heat shrink gun to shrink the tubing. The assembly is now complete. For more information about the Rhino High product line, visit us on the web at www.leviton.com or contact your local Leviton distributor.